channel. Today I'm here with Riley, Hi. and she helps run this office and run the appointments here at all the locations actually. And today we're going to be talking about the top 10 dental questions that people might have. Mm -hmm. So we have a famous quote here from Henry Ford, and he said, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. I'll let you think about that one and see how that applies to your life. Uh, an interesting statistic says that 74% of Canadians have seen a dental professional in the last year. That's from Canadian Health Measures Survey. That's actually a good stat. Yeah, yeah that's that important. Is. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to ask some questions of you, Riley, and okay. let's see what you... Uh, these will be like the typical top 10 okay. questions about dentistry and sure. dental work. So how do I make my teeth whiter? Mm -hmm. That's a very popular question. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of ways you can make your teeth whiter. You can. There's a lot of product in the market that you can pick. The toothpaste, the whitening strips. Also, we do in-office whitening. Um, they are all good, but then the in-office whitening might have a better result. Uh -huh. So we do suggest um, our patients if you want to do um, uh, want to pick some product from the market, you want to check your shade first. You want to you want to make sure your teeth. Uh, at what level so once you use the product then you know um, if there's a big difference or you think that product might not work for you so we do have a um, whitening bleach tray in our office um, we can take some impressions for you and we make you a customized tray mm -hmm. and give you some bleaching solution and we guarantee a five shades lighter yeah. also um, if um, your teeth are super sensitive you can't use whitening um, solutions mm -hmm. we can always do um, veneers they might be a little bit invasive but a lot of patients they come in we do a, a buckle filling that's what we call it so we add a very thin layer of the um, filling material. Oh. So it's lighter, it's way lighter than your teeth color and it actually brights your teeth up. So it's, it's basically, it's a whitening. Oh. But then the only thing is that's a filling. So by time it might change colors, you might have to do it again. Okay. So, so that's a bonded material? Bonded, bonded material, material. yes. Oh. Wow, yes. that's interesting. Mm -hmm. um, how often should I actually get a dental checkup? Karen has really good teeth, so I would suggest every year for okay. your checkup and every six months for your um, cleaning. Um, if um, if your teeth are good as Karen's, so you twelve month is a very standard time. But if every dental visit you come in, there is a few cavities, then we really suggest you to come in every six months. Mm -hmm. It's not um, because you don't have very good oral, oral hygiene; it could just be genetic. So we want to make sure your teeth, your oral health, are very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what are the best ways to practice good dental hygiene at home? Yeah, the, well, there's a lot of ways you can do. The standard way is you brush twice a day, and then you floss, you rinse your mouth with mouthwash, and then um, stop eating after you're brushing before you go to bed, and then don't eat a lot of sweet food, and then stop drinking too much pops. No, mm -hmm. eat healthy food. Diet also play a big role into your oral, um, oral health. For sure. Yeah. yeah. And why should I have dental x-rays taken? Mm -hmm. Dental x-rays are very important. It's, it's just like when you have infection in your lungs, you do want an x-ray for your lungs. Mm -hmm. um, I know a lot of people are concerned about the radiation. Um, for dental x-rays nowadays, especially, um, I'll say in Canada, um, most dental office has digital x-rays. The radiation level is very, very, very small. There's an article saying 100 dental x-rays equals the flight from Edmonton to Vancouver. Oh, so, wow. yeah, <clears throat> sorry, even um, we do have something to measure um, the radiation since we work here. Mm -hmm. And especially when I was pregnant, I have that thing with me every day when I come to work. I want to make sure I don't have radiation right. for the baby. Um, I don't. So one time, one of our coworkers left the, the measure thing, the dosimeter, um, beside the charger. Uh -huh. So that's, um, that's, that's when they, they got radiation from. So dental x-rays is very, the radiation is very, very minor. So it's really good for us to determine if you have any cavities in between your teeth, especially for kids who will see all the teeth, all the adult teeth beneath the baby teeth. So we can estimate when your adult is going to come out or if any kids, they're actually missing any adult mm. teeth. So we can treat um, your dental, we can treat your teeth um, before you actually knowing something bad is going to happen. Right. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
So how do I prevent tooth decay and gingivitis? It's um, then that we're gonna go back to how you take care of your oral hygiene. Yeah. So you do have to have a very good oral hygiene, brush twice a day, two minutes one time, floss, do, if you can use mouthwash. Mm -hmm. um, also, um, I do um, notice um, when people brush, they don't brush um, half on the teeth, half on the gums. So that's really important. <clears throat> uh, that's, where, um, that's where your sensitivity, your cavity starts. Um, also dental visit mm -hmm. are important um, to prevent yeah. decays and gingivitis. Gingivitis is more for people who um, has genetic issue, especially mm -hmm. for Asian people. We have good teeth, the bad gums. Oh. So we do want people to come in um, to do cleaning. That's really important too. Yeah, and then if you can follow your dentist's suggestions, and then take good, um, do very good oral hygiene mm -hmm. procedures at home. I, I'm pretty sure like it should be like very minimal because gingivitis. Seventy five percent of adults has gingivitis. Oh wow! We just have to work hard to to minimize it. Oh wow! Yeah. So yeah, I was actually thinking of that yeah that gingivitis. Yeah, that's actually interesting. We'll, yeah. have, to, we'll have to dig more into that topic right. in another okay. video. <laughs> um, so why are my teeth sensitive and how do I fix that? Gingivitis first. Um, it can cause sensitivity oh. teeth because your gums are kind of shrinked a little bit. Mm -hmm. Then um, there's sometimes there's a little bit of root exposure to mm -hmm. the environment. And sometimes it, it's because of you grind your teeth at night, mm -hmm. and um, there is a. It's also it's because of the level of your gums are receding, uh -huh. then your teeth has more uh, more exposure to the environment, or sometimes you brush your teeth too hard, mm -hmm. and or your enamel is too thin. So there's a lot of ways actually to damage your good teeth. Yeah. So that's why your teeth are very sensitive. And then you were asking how do we fix it, right? Yeah. Um, first, um, we do recommend good toothpaste, not good toothpaste, a right toothpaste for you. Right. We do um, suggest Sensodyne. And also, oh. we want you to come in. There's a lot of ways to minimize the sensitivity. We have um, desensitizer uh, a material. We put a layer on your um, tooth and then uh, leave it on for one minute. And I usually tell patients don't brush for 24 hours. That usually works for a few months to reduce the sensitivity. Mm -hmm. Or you can actually um, do a little small filling to cover up the exposure place. Right. And then, then that's gonna, it's pretty much like a permanent solution for oh, that. Okay. Yeah. Wow, so many different things I had no <laughs> idea about. So why should I consider dental implants? Dental implants is the um, golden um, standard for now to replace a missing tooth. Mm. Um, of course, we we'll say your own teeth are the best. Yeah. But if you have a missing tooth, um, we usually people will do a, a little denture, a small denture. But then denture, the, the, the thing is you have to take it out every night mm -hmm. before you go to bed. You have to brush four times a day. Oh. And, or you can do a bridge, which you have to cut um, two good teeth, like mm. on the side of the missing, oh. missing tooth. Yeah. Then it, it's, it's pretty much cost the same as implant. So implant is going to be a, a permanent fix. Mm -hmm. You put that implant in your mouth, the missing, uh, missing space, and put a crown on it. And then you never have to take it out. You just brush normally, floss normally, just come to the dental office, check every year to make sure the implant is good. Right, okay. Good, there's hope. <laughs> so should I use mouthwash regularly? You kind of already said this. Yeah, but. we do, um, for, especially for adults. Mm -hmm. um, we do suggest people to use alcohol-free mouthwash twice a day, every time after you brush your teeth. Mm -hmm. We actually had a patient, she's almost 90 years old. She had no cavities, she has all, your te all her teeth. So um, our, our boss, our um, Dr. Peter Yu, actually asked her, how did she do it? Yeah. She said she actually brushed her teeth with mouthwash. Oh, wow. every day in the morning <laughs> and so that's why we think mouthwash is really important it goes everywhere especially um the places it's hard to reach right yeah well, that makes sense mm -hmm. so when should my child's first dentist appointment be as uh, long as you have the first two okay so usually it starts about but then not too early i know nowadays a lot of kids start having the first two by age three months or four months yeah. that's too early we yeah. won't be able to ask the kid to open their mouth so usually about a year old okay yeah, yeah. that's good so at what age do baby teeth fall out it's very um it's a big range of that mm -hmm. usually we will say from six to six years old 
So by 12, age 12, the, all adult teeth should be out. Hmm. But we do see kids, um, their baby teeth start to fall out by age 4. Oh. That's why early dental visit is, is important and the x-ray is important for mm -hmm. kids that we can determine, uh, we can actually expect when the baby tooth is going to come out and then when the adult is going to come in. Oh, good to know. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for answering all those top 10 questions, very common ones. And thanks for watching our video here and learning more about the Tooth Doctor here in Edmonton. We have three locations. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video if you got some good info out of it, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.